Hello, welcome to this Computer Weekly video. My name is Brian Glick, I'm the Editor-in-Chief of Computer Weekly. Uh, and we're here at a special Computer Weekly event where we've been celebrating Computer Weekly's 50th anniversary. Uh, 22nd September 1966 was the day that the first ever issue of Computer Weekly was published. Uh, and we've been talking about British technology innovation and celebrating British technology innovation. And I'm joined now uh, by uh, one of uh, the companies that's helped us uh, in our event today. That's uh, ISC Squared, the uh, Information Security Accreditation and Training Company. And Adrian Davis is the, their managing director for EMEA. Adrian, welcome. Thanks for coming along today. Thank you very much, Brian. Hi. Um, and we, so we've been talking about celebrating British technology uh, innovation here. Uh, you work in the in the security field, an area that clearly is critical for for, for every uh, organisation of, of, of every size. Um, tell me, what what are the what are the technology innovations coming through in the next five years that are exciting you the most? I think there's, there's a couple. Um, for me, it's the whole cloud piece. Um, how are we going to really secure the cloud? How are we going to really deal with things like a engine access management, um, moving data between the cloud of clouds? Um, associated with that is the Internet of Things. The Internet of Things is here. It's going to explode. Um, forget the connected fridge. Forget the, the, the consumer side. You know, um, one of my friends, uh, one of his things on his Internet of Things is 100,000 tons ship. That's the Internet of Things, and that's where we're going to see you know, the explosion of devices connecting. But there's going to be an explosion of how you secure things. If you think about moving physical goods around, container ships, containers, bulk carriers, whatever else it may be, there's a huge amount of data and money and information tied up in those things. Now imagine if you could hack into it and then alter its course so that it costs more to take the goods from A to B. You do that enough times, you can bankrupt a shipping company. And, of course, you might get the goods delivered to somewhere where you don't want them to be delivered to. So, you know, this, I think the cloud is one what, um, where we'll see a lot of innovation. I think the Internet of Things is where we'll see, again, the innovation. But I think we'll see innovation from a different point. It won't be the classic identity access management and cryptography because it's not going to work. We're going to see a step change in how we secure dumb, if you like, devices rather than the smarter ones we've tried to do. Um, secure in the, in the past. Mm. Now a lot of IT leaders uh, among Computer Weekly's audience are going to be you know, implementing some of the, these great new technologies over, over, over the next few years or so and as you've explained there you know they're going to be presenting a whole different set of security challenges for them. Um, how would you advise those IT leaders to go about preparing for those innovations? I think the first thing is you've got to get the business on side so you've got to talk about this being a business risk. It's no longer, oh, it's technology, we'll leave the, let the specialists, let the experts deal with that. Because our businesses, all of our businesses, rely on IT now, and they will rely on IT in the future. Um, so we need to get the business engaged to understand what this means. And then we need the business to understand it. it's a set of risks. There's an upside risk, which is if we have all this internet of things in this cloud, we can do some really cool stuff and make lots of money and deliver better goods or whatever it may be. There's also the downside is if we don't do it properly, then we can really hurt our business operations. So we need to invest in certain things. And some certain things will be, I know it sounds boring, it's the basics. User awareness, great training for the people, so individuals don't press on links and stuff, right? They'll still be with us in five years' time. But then we can also look at getting the basics right, building networks properly building capacity so that our networks don't fall over, you know, when someone shares a video or whatever it may be. But it's also about getting ready to, for the new world, you know, understanding where the problems are and proactively going out and solving them. Don't wait for something to break, go out there, break it, solve it, fix it, get it working. And I think that, that for me, are the, are the key things, is get the business on side, get them to understand it's a risk, and then be proactive about this. Get out there, solve your problems, and, Start small. Build an IoT test bed, break it, fix it, learn, then do it again. And then widen it out past the IT team to the business and, people, uh, and your other staff so that everybody has a, a stake in the success of what you're trying to roll out. A little bit different from what we used to do, I think. But for me, that seems to be a, a much more cohesive way of doing things. Yeah, okay. Uh, now, 
a part of what we've been talking about this afternoon as well. Uh, we've been looking back at the last 50 years, we've been looking at, uh, at what's coming up in the next few years, but we've also been looking, looking ahead, speculating uh, about what Computer Weekly might be writing about for our 100th anniversary in, in, in 2066, if hopefully we, 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 make, we make it to that time. I'm not sure I'll still be editor then, but uh, you know, we'll be right, you know, and, I'm, and I'm sure security is still going to be one of the topics we'll be, we'll be writing about then. But just for a bit of fun, um, you know, give us an idea. What, you know, what, what do you think is one thing in the security field that you think realistically will have, will have really changed for us in 50 years' time from now? Well, I think in 2066, the way that medical advance is going, you and I will still be here. We'll still be doing the same interview, to be honest, Brian. Um, <laughs> we might be more Internet of Things than we are human, but we'll still be here. Um, but that's, I think, is going to be one of the key points. Security, I think, will become part of us. Uh, and I think uh, as we progress and as... as computers and devices and things change, the, part of the security solution will be us. It could even be our own DNA. Uh, and to me, I think in 50 years time, we can actually be looking at how you secure your own DNA. Wouldn't that be interesting? Wow, what a fascinating subject. Adrian Davis from ISC Squared, thank you for coming along and helping us to celebrate 50 years of Computer Weekly and giving us a little view of uh, you know, how security innovation is gonna go in the next few years. Great, thank you very much again, Brian. Thank, thank you. you. That's all we've got time for in this video. Thanks very much for watching. Uh, if you go to our website at computerweekly.com, you'll be able to see some other videos that we've recorded um, from uh, our 50th anniversary event, as well as plenty of other uh, Computer Weekly videos as well. Thanks for watching.